Yoda. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> the boys are being awfully quiet today. Come on. Lighten up. I think it's because we're opening up Yu-Gi-Oh and not Pokemon. So I have uh, a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh mystery power boxes that I picked up in Walmart uh, surely two years ago or so. I'm not too sure. Um, but we've got three different ones. This literally has dust on it. I know it's been a long time since I've given you Yu-Gi-Oh fans any content. Even worse for the Magic fans, I think. But hey, at least the My Little Pony fan base is happy. Okay, what do we have here? And can we get anything of value from these shit boxes? So I think uh, this one was picked up around Christmas. It's a holiday edition. We've got to look for hot boxes containing five legacy packs. Every five boxes, they have a hot box. This one is the heaviest of the three. Look for randomly inserted PSA 10 Cyberstein. Uh, I'm not sure the worth of that, but I'm assuming they had a bunch of them to grade because in this one you got to look out for the BGS 9.5 Cyberstein. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what we can get. Ugh. All right, so we have one of these ones. This kind of has like dust on it even inside the box. All right, so we get these random spell cards. Just bundled in here. And we're opening up an English first edition Cosmo Blazer. No idea about Yu-Gi-Oh. It's going to be a mess as I try to gauge where the rares and stuff are. So let's just go, let's go two to the front. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but Yu-Gi-Oh has some very interesting art. That looks like Pot of Greed. Oh, Pot of Greed is actually there. I swear I didn't look at that. And the subconsciously I did. I was just thinking this guy looks like the human... Or the Goblin rendition of it. Goblin Circus. Hazy Flame Griffin. We've got an Ignition Beast. And let's see where the rare is. If there is one or if we can spot a holographic. Don't know what I'm looking at here. And nothing super special looking. And as usual, I am definitely going to miss some of the prices for ones that actually might be worth stuff. So... You gotta stay. Oh, this one. This one doesn't have as many. Stay diligent in the comments and let me know. And sorry for the the pricing mishaps. It's gonna be very difficult. Hypno corn. Interesting. Psychic. Oh, there we go. Got like a shattered glass uh, mirror type uh, rare. If they have holographic, I will value them, even if they're worth nothing. That's typically how I always do it with Pokemon. And then we have uh, this one, which has a uh, a holographic name. Interesting. And uh, Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. So yeah, any holographics, I will uh, I will value them, even if they're not valuable. Three to the front. Let's, nope. We've got a, 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 a holographic name, a big buff man. We've got Scapegoat. Remember seeing that one before. Uh, some sort of golem. And on the end, there is the mirror holographic metal morph. English First Edition Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle Pack 3 Monster League. No idea what any of this means. I'm going in dry. I'm just going to open it. I'm just going to go through it. We've got uh, Magical Arm Shield. There is Gale Lizard. It's a little bit bent in the corner. Uh, mirror looking hollow. Golden Flying Fish. He ain't gold though. Sword of Revealing Light. I'm sure all of you know that. Come on, get around it boys. Hyper Hammerhead. Yu-Gi-Oh has some really out there designs. Ah, oh, the golden flying fish did have some hollow. So I think all of these ones that are stuck to this thing. I like these uh, little promo. Look at this glue. I'm just screwing the cards up probably. Little promo mini packs or something like that. You get five cards a pack. I'm not 100% sure how Yu-Gi-Oh works, but I think a, a mainline booster box and pack would have 10, I'm assuming, for English. Magical arm shield. Night Day Greffa, we've already got him, but there's uh, this what we could typically call the reverse version, I guess. Probably get all of those shattered ones to complete a master set. I'm assuming. Mist Valley Falcon, very nice. Uh, Dimension Gate and Evil Swarm Thunderbird. You're gonna sit there and tell me that's a bird? Man, Yu-Gi-Oh is horrific. Like Magic the Gathering has a lot of crazy designs, but Yu-Gi-Oh still holds its ground with how out there it gets and how like uh, scary some of its designs are. 
We've got some sort of battle armor bear. We've got a telekinetic shocker. He's the holographic name version, whatever that means. Card advance. Card advance! No cards advancing on the end there. Just a bag of worms. Electromagnetic bag worm. You don't want to wake up and see one of these in your computer. All right, that was uh, a bunch of stuff. We've still got more though. Here is a couple of packs. These are the more thicker packs. I guess we were opening up uh, five bonus packs. So wish me luck. Judgment of the light. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's gonna be a ten card pack. I can feel it. Slide it out. One, two, three. <laughs> There's no point me doing that, but whatever. Uh, black and white wave. We've got Star, Seraph, Sage, Bujian Regalia, the sword. Okay, trap card. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. Arnold Schwarzenegger as a dragon. Uh, Bujingi Crane, another crazy bird from the fucking underworld. Um, and then, okay, okay. That looks sick. That's got to be... Guy, okay, I I have something here, right? I have to have something here. It's got a holographic border. It's got this crazy middle piece, and it has gold writing. Again, don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but that looks cool. I like that. Rank up magic, Numeron Force. I'm gonna put that aside. That's that's got to be a nice get. At least for rarity wise, it might not be playable and have no value, but whatever. Uh, and then Madolch Chicolates. Madol Madolchi Chicolates. Madolch J Chicolates. I'm having a stroke. It's actually not bad opening up a couple of these boxes. You get a lot to look at. Um, <laughs> let's see what that does. Gravity Axe. Growl. Growl. Arsenal Summoner. You got this little dude. Pathetic. Uh, Dark Scorpion, Mine the Thorn. Uh, and then we have a little holographic name. We have Rod of the Mind's Eye. That looks like some retro Yu-Gi-Oh shit. Goblin of Greed. He's holding the Pot of Greed! What's this one? Uh, I can't remember that. That's another pot. Oh, that's the, that is the guy that's on some of the other cards involving him. Was he on the other one that we looked at? And then Blindly Loyal Goblin. I don't mind some Goblin cards, you hear? Another pack. Judgment. Of the light. I can open it. Come on. Slide it down. <laughs> Just turn it round. Sorry, I'm too stupid. Vertical landing. This guy is, he's, he's, we're seeing a lot of him. You know, I, I used to watch the, this video series, I can't remember who it was, but they'd go over the lore of uh, Yu Gi Oh cards, like the actual art and how they're all connected. There's so many interesting stories among them. Uh, spanning just so many years of Yu-Gi-Oh. Fishborg Archer. They tell a lot of stories. The Atmosphere. Uh, Bujingi Wolf. I've seen Bujingi something already. And that's what we got. Okay, so we're going to open up the Holiday one. We did not get uh, the PSA 10 special potential thing. Here is a wad of things. Ooh, we do have uh, one in here. But this is one that I think you guarantee get. And I'm not going to give this a value, okay? This, like... Here is some listings of, I'm assuming people who have pulled this and put it on eBay. But I'll let you look at it. Here you go. These are weird ones because it looks like a Beckett grade. Although the, the label in that looks like shit. And if you turn it around, you find out it is actually Beckett. Like the high tier stuff that people grade, BGS grading. Much more strict than PSA. But this, I, I don't completely understand it. It's like a... The same company, but it's like a, a different thing. It's nowhere near as harsh. No one really wants these. You will find these littered by uh, the second-hand company market that puts them in these inside Toys R Us and Walmart. They always shove these weird BCCG 10s in there. They're a joke, okay? They're a joke. Okay, now, if I actually got legacy packs or what they classify as them, I probably wouldn't know. So you might have to, you might have to inform me, but this is a Blue-Eyes White Dragon... It's not the super original one or whatever, I'm assuming. But Yu-Gi-Oh fans, let me know in the comments if I'm uh, if I miss anything. Let's take a look. We've got Sog, Sogan, Armored Starfish. Be so these are super retro, uh, but I'm assuming this is a reprint set that was released later. Goblin's Secret Remedy. Ooh, made uh, specially for me. The Goblin wants his special secret remedy! Skull Servant, 
Two mouth, man, these are throwbacks. I remember all of these cards back when I would play and play uh, the video game versions. Yeah, so this has 2014 on it. I think the original was like 2002. Spell Ruler. One spell to rule them all. Let's see what we get. Penguin Knight. These are still retro looking uh, cards though. Dark Zebra, Eternal Rest, Cyberjar, Snake Fang, we've got a Mystic Plasma Zone, Horn of Light, baby, and the Reliable Guardian. So, no holographic at all in that pack. Okay, wait, nope. I just keep missing it. It's the name, the Cyberjar one. At least they have an assortment. Metal Raiders of the Lost Ark. Look at this. Look at that little corner. God damn. All right, Dragon Piper. Play your song, Dragon Piper. Bring the dragon! Bring the bring the blue eyes out of hiding! There he is, Roaring Ocean Snake. A fusion demon of some sort, I think. Is that what purple is? I think so. Uh, Ring of Magnetism. Sorry, yes. Robin Goblin is the hollow. Invasion of Chaos. Up next. Let's see what we get. We've got a sacred crane. Why do they have so many cranes? And it's like crazy birds. Crimson Ninja. There's the, the hollow, compulsory evacuation device. Uh, up next, smashing ground, Gora Turtle of Illusion. We've got blasting the ruins and multiplication of ants. That sounds like the worst thing ever. Having your house infested by ants is one thing. Don't let someone cast a, an ant multiplication spell or trap. You'll be in hell. All right, overdrive. <laughs> it's just a man driving a car. Three-headed Guido. This is just some trippy shit, man. Burning land. Shift. Shift? Hello? Uh, Gradius, uh, Gradius, sorry, seven completed. Very meta. We're seeing Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And on the end, the Eye of Truth. And that's all she wrote. So we're moving on to the heaviest box. It says three booster packs, five bonus packs, and a structure deck. Is the structure deck what's making all this weight? Because it's very heavy. It must be. Alright, let's see. Okay. This is so weird. Ah! Wait! Look at- <laughs> You're giving me a foreign blue-eyes white dragon? The Dragao Blanco de Olhos Azus? I'll take him. I just like looking at the art. Damn. That's- <laughs> this... Well, I mean, he's first a Decao. I want to know what it's like inside the company that's packing these things. Just like an actual guy sleeving the cards and packing them into this box. Why is there so much shit in here? Okay, here's some of the weight. We've got a Yu-Gi-Oh uh, battle mat. The uh, Battle Pack 3 Monsters League with a cat being vaporized. Oh, he's kind of space-time warping out of his cage. You cannot contain a cat in the Yu-Gi-Oh universe. Don't even try. I mean, do you do you have to glue all of them together? Come on. I'm just I'm bending the cards. This is some scary looking shit though. All right. Oh, there's just glue all fuck off. All right, here we go. Uh, the mask of brutality. We've got to look at the corner. Look at the corner on this thing. It's like bent down. Tight, can you see that? Yeah, look at the warping. Although Yu-Gi-Oh cards are notorious for warping with their holographic as well. Cross Sword Beetle, uh, another hollow. And then we've got Nordic Relic Leviathan. That's not, Le that's not how you say Leviathan, is it? And then we've got Shredder from Ninja Turtles. I hate this. L like, look, I go like, it's just, I'm just gonna open it and keep it attached to the stack. Yeah, that works better, I think. Zero gravity, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Tri-Edge Leviah. Cool. Uh, then we've got this guy again. That's surely a double, at least a triple of different rarities though, but I think he's the first double of the same. Master Craftsman Gamel. And then we've got the Bagworm again. All right. I'm uh, trying to deal with some technical difficulties here. It's gonna have this big shredded chain. All right, here we go. Old school, Bush uh, Rush rec Recklessly. Okay, uh, Gorgonic Golem. Then we've got this thing, the card guard. Oh, he's he is the hollow, the card guard. Some big like uh, manatee demon. 
some weird anime looking shit. The Mythical Beast Cerebus. Cerberus. Alright, we've got two more here. I'm gonna take a look at something else inside the box. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is some more of the weight. And I'm seeing this, I'm thinking, holy shit! We've got the Red Eyes Black Dragon! We've got a Joey deck! But it's, 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 it's more of this foreign language. I am not giving value to the, these ones. It's even more difficult. Okay. I'm pretty sure this would be huge if it was English. All right. There he is. There he is. And do we have anything? Okay. Still got, that's a cool hollow as well. We've got a couple of hollows. I'm, I'm hoping all the hollows are going to be on the front. So we can then just shit mix through these. This is all retro shit, though. This is tickling my uh, nostalgia bone, for sure. Damn. All right. Um, sorry, though. I'm not sticking around too long on these. I don't really need to. We're going to move on. I'm going to pull a different pack out, though. going to see what pack we get. The Legacy of the Valiant. All right. Let's see how good your legacy is. Let's take a look. We've got the Doo-Doo Buster. <laughs> the do 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 buster Gorgonic Cerberus bricks bricks uh, we've got some sort of um little grim reaper and uh, we've got uh, there's one Leo the keeper of the sacred tree then we've got this thing cute little rabbit and do we have another one we've got uh, Mario there nice ghost trick museum all right I'm going in I'm going into one of these five card packs let's see what we can get we got the Dragon's gun fire up next, the mirror crack hollow, and then the Jane Light Sworn Paladin. And uh finishing with Ooh! I didn't know that exist existed. The Swords of Concealing Light, the counterpart. Last pack of this five card pack. Shit. Unbreakable Spirit. Frontier Wise Man. Then we've got Berserk Gorilla. Can you even get anything good from the, the five packs? Like in terms of rarity scaling? Or did we get our cool one from one of those? I can't remember. Alright, we've got two more packs to go. We have uh, Primal Origin. Let's try this one out. So I wanna, come on, take it off the corner. There we go. Okay, the 100 footed horror. I told ya. Although this thing doesn't look as scary as it looks a little more cartoony compared to the name. And some of the other shit that's in here is way worse. The Hazy Flame Hydra. Then we've got Galaxy Mirror Sage. Ghost Trick Doll. Some more cutesy little anime stuff. I don't mind that. That sort of look. Oh, I think we've seen some of these where they have all of these kinds of cards. I think we opened uh, some other boxes which we experienced this set before. Ghost Trick Sokutibos. So so Sokutibos? So cute boss. Ghost Trick So Cute Boss. So cute, but so cute, so cute, boss. All right, moving on to the end. The band played on. These are cute. These are really cute cards in here. I kind of like this set. I much prefer the tune kind of look to things. And lastly, a rare upside down pack joke. It's Judgment of the Light. Let's see what we can get. This is our final pack, and then we will do our Pokemon postcard. Let's see, Sargasso Lighthouse. We've got Mecha Phantom Beast Colt Wing. The Arnold Schwarzenegger Dr Limits Dragon. Bujan Fidal. Ooh, ooh, there he is, there he is. Number 102, Star Seraph Sentry. I'm definitely butchering a lot of these names. I'm sure there's some Yu-Gi-Oh fans face palming. And is this the card that we got, but not the crazy version? The rank up man, yeah. This is, uh... This one's definitely uh, lesser than the other one, surely, right? We've got like a cool ghost rare or whatever. I don't, <laughs> I literally don't know what they're called, but yeah. That one's still cool. XYZ Agent. So a little uh, chibi man. And then XYZ Reversal. Th this is just like super psychedelic trippy shit on some of these cards. Uh, then XYZ Revenge. Shuffle. Trap card. That's her final card. And now it's time for Max Mofo's Postcard Collection. Uh, I found a loose, shitty Pokemon postcard on my desk. I'm sorry, but we're back to this. Basically, anime screenshot. But 
It's not too bad. In fact, maybe it is a uh, unique art for a postcard. I don't know though. That was not. Too, it's not too bad. It's going to be the first postcard in my shitty book. That's exclusively for not so good postcards. Even though it's alright, it's alright. Thanks guys for watching. If you would like to support me by buying the merch, the MaxMofo merch, get decked out in that merch. You can click the link at the top of the description below or you can go to max.shirtswithaz.cool and as always, if you buy anything else from that website, you can always use code MOFO to save 10%. That also helps me out. And besides that, please uh, check out another Yu-Gi-Oh! video on screen. I'll put uh, two Yu-Gi-Oh! ones there for you to Scope out. And this has been a Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Box Bonanza.